okay dear students let us see what is there in this question now a mass of on a spring is displaced just a moment please okay a mass on a spring is displaced from its equilibrium position which graph represents the variation of acceleration with displacement for the mass after it is released okay fine so uh, first of all uh, let us choose an example for an shm so it is y is equal to a sin omega t because the spring would be having simple harmonic motion anyways so y is equal to a sin omega t now what will be the velocity the velocity will be when you differentiate it so it will become a q omega cos omega t and similarly if you differentiate it even further one step more so you would be getting minus a omega square sin omega t so overall i'm just giving you a derivation for a very simple formulation that you might be um, knowing that already so what happens is a sin omega t is replaced here so the acceleration can be taken as this this is acceleration by y double prime this is known as y double prime and it is the differentiation of the displacement twice if you know what what i mean well otherwise also you can directly go this way so you can see that the acceleration is directly proportional to negative of the displacement also i can say that because the spring it is understood that spring will be going for simple harmonic motion only and in simple harmonic motion it is the condition of the simple harmonic motion that acceleration is directly proportional to the negative of displacement so instead of doing all this thing you could have directly jumped to this conclusion also so either of the way you can do this now what will be the graph of this obviously acceleration on the y axis and displacement on the x axis it will become a straight line with a negative slope so our answer will be d this is the graph that is the correct graph so our answer is d i hope i will be very clear to you in this question if there is a little bit of uh, confusion or uh, a problem in this trigonometric equations uh, simple harmonic equations or the differentiation calculus then please do let me know in the comment section so with this this is professor varun all the best.